Nowhere by Ride is easily among my favorite shoegaze albums of all time. Like most people who like shoegaze, right? That said, aside from their more recent work, I didn't really give the rest of their early catalog a second glance, outside of, say, their early, early EPs. Until now. And later in this video, I'll share some initial thoughts on digging into it for the first time. Hey fellow music nerds, it is Andy from the Fence Post Vinyl Channel. If you like music, or you dig vinyl, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell while you're at it so you're notified of new videos. I recently picked up a 30th anniversary pressing of Going Blank Again, their sophomore release from 1992, and I'm going to share it with you today. No, this is not a true unboxing, given that I've already pulled it from the box, but I am going to show you what all is inside this pressing. The fun part, copies are still available, so you can find a link down in the description and grab one for yourself if you so desire. This was originally released on March 9, 1992 on Creation Records, the same label that was responsible for this. Nowhere by Ride, Loveless by My Bloody Valentine, and Sovlaki by Slowdive and even, honestly, early Oasis. The cover art is a vast departure from that of nothing. It almost seems completely disconnected entirely, and in some ways it, well, was. It's been remastered. According to the Ride website, all the original audio has been re reworked and refined. This is on Wichita Records, which is where Ride has released their albums since their return. Those predominantly being Weather Diaries in 2017 and This Is Not A Safe Place in 2019. The back supports artwork in a similar theme. You have similar colors and this hand-painted track list. I have not yet cracked open the gatefold as it does have this sleeve. So let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to keep the hype sticker because I, I like doing that kind of stuff. Am I a hoarder? Let's take a quick look. It should be a picture of the band from 1992. Full spread, black and white. I think it looks great. Very stark difference from the uh, very artsy, you know, modern art, watercolor, or mixed media. I would say it's probably a blend of both, honestly. It looks mixed media to me. For those familiar with Ride's back catalog, and more specifically this release in particular, this should all be relatively familiar. On the inside is a single-sided 12x12 insert featuring lyrics and some credits. Again, very similar to the original pressings on Creation. The differences tend to come down here in the credits. You have Call Out to 2022, Wichita Recordings. I'm assuming this is a Wichita-based barcode. And of course, you have Wichita on the spine. This is pressed on two discs. And again, we have similar labels as well. You've got R, I, D, E with each side including a letter that spells out ride. Yes, that means side C has a big old D on it. No, not that kind of D. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's all PG up in here, folks. Contrary to those early pressings, this is on a very dashing orange transparent vinyl. I love this because, and you likely know this if you follow me, the reds and oranges in the cover art look great when paired up next to this orange transparent wax. For longtime shoegaze fans, this is no stranger to you. Going Blank Again is a classic, maybe not quite to the heights of nowhere, but still a classic nonetheless. For those more new to the shoegaze movement and the bands within it, the bands that sparked it, like Ride and Slow Dive and my Bloody Valentine, Going Blank Again may be a little bit more elusive. To be honest, this album kind of surprised me. Why? With as much attention as Nowhere gets, Going Blank Again, well, doesn't get that attention. And that's a damn shame. Unlike My Bloody Valentine, Rye didn't just disappear after their breakaway hit. They churned out a few more albums before disappearing, this being one of them. You've got great, great tracks on here. Some of the singles, Leave Them All Behind, Twisterella, and of course you can't forget 
OX4. I mean, they released an entire compilation, kind of a best of, that was literally titled OX4. Chrome Waves, Time Machine, these are other favorites of mine from this album. And obviously, while it doesn't quite live up to the power and influence that Nowhere had, this is still a truly solid follow-up. You get a solid taste of some of their early stuff on their four EPs, which I cut. Wait. There we go. There are four EPs, which I covered earlier this year or maybe late last year. This features their four early, early EPs, this one included, that, uh, that the band released right around the time of this album here. And while their sound did progress a little bit and morph a little bit here on Weather Diaries and even more on This Is Not A Safe Place, you do get a taste of that early sound here on this OX4, the best of. This can kind of be misleading. You may not necessarily realize that it is not just this one and some things from this, but it also includes tracks off of this and their other album from the mid 90s, Tarantula, which coincidentally is the only one I don't have in my collection. So what do you think? Going blank again? How does it compare to Nowhere For You? Personally, for me, it's a little bit of a step down, but you can't really discount it that much because this was such a great, great album. This one really holds its own, and it saw the band morphing in a more mature direction, which I think was warranted given just how youthful and just steeped in that poppy side of shoegaze was. This one saw them transforming a little bit. You see that here and here, well, quite substantially, given that they progressed it 25 years. Out of all these, what's your favorite? Let me know down in the comments if you like Ride and what your favorite shoegaze albums were. Maybe I'll pull another one from my collection and share it as well. If you have liked this video and you like this album right here, don't forget to check out this video right here where I actually talk about this album right here. I'm Andy, this is the Fence Post Vinyl Channel. I'll see you in the next video.